Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, we're going to walk through setting up an Alexa hosted skill that is managed in a GitHub repo rather than the, the default. When you set up a, an Alexa hosted skill, the default is that the skill is managed by AWS Code Commit, which is also a Git repo. But if you're wanting to have the code in GitHub, uh, maybe you've got multiple people that are going to be working on it, which was the, uh, the case when I started diving into this here at Dabble Lab. Um, if that is the case, you might want to have the source code in um, GitHub or someplace else, Bitbucket or something like that. And that's what we're going to go through here. So I'm going to start with just a, uh, a new Alexa hosted skill, and I'm going to set that up using the, um, the, the, the plugin here, the add-on or extension for Visual Studio Code. So this is Visual Studio Code. If you're not familiar with this, you can go here and enable the extension um, Alexa skills kit ask this here and that's what's giving me this stuff over here so I'm gonna go create a new skill and I'm gonna just call it hello world that's the template, the template that's used and uh, in my case it's gonna be US English you would select whatever um, locale you're in and then Alexa hosted for node.js and I'm gonna just select this temp folder here and then create and then we see it get created over here. And with, um, if you're familiar with like using the Ask CLI, you might be used to using Ask Deploy to deploy skills. But when you're working with Alexa hosted skills, you use Git commands when you're working locally to deploy the skills. And we're going to take a look at that in just a second when this is done being created. All right, so here we go. Let's just get in this here. Um, so yeah, I don't need this anymore. So let's first look at this. Yeah, so there's a master and a production branch. And if you wanna make changes, let's first go take a look. This is my developer console now. This is where this should have been deployed and it was. So um, this, is the, uh, this is the skill here that we just created. And if we go in here, I'm going to show you to the, uh, the invocation. You can see the default invocation name is change me. And we're going to change that. And that's the first thing that we'll do. So we'll go back over to our local code and go into the skill package here and the interaction model and then open up the uh, English interaction model and, and change me. We're going to just change this to demo skill like that and save it. And if I want to publish this, like I mentioned, I'm going to use git command. So first I'm going to go git add, and I'm going to add this change to my local um, git repo. And then I'm going to go git uh, commit. And I'll say change location name. And then um, git push. And this is going to push it out to the AWS um, code commit repository. And that is done. Um, actually, let me show you one more thing. What we're going to change here. So if I go uh, git remote dash v, these are the, uh, the remote locations for um, the, uh, the repository and so you can see here that it is on a on code commit and this was set up by the Alexa service on the back end and so when we commit um, or push like we just did we're pushing out to the same repo and then when we do a um, like a git pull we're pulling from uh, origin dev. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, uh, a GitHub repo that we can then go and basically set up uh, another remote uh, so that when we push, we are pushing out to both the uh, code commit and GitHub. So let's go back over here and just see if this thing changed. I'll just refresh. Yeah, so you can see we made a change. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to, uh, to GitHub and 
again, like all of our changes are just here in um, the code commit repository. So I'm going to create a new repository and I'm going to just call it uh, demo skill. Hello world. And I'm going to create the repository. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add that to um, my, let's go back. Actually, let me copy this. And I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go um, get remote add and then I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it GitHub. And then I'm going to um, paste in the GitHub URL, which is that. And then I'm also going to, let's do, see it now. So now you can see we've got our uh, GitHub location in here and then we've also got the original origin but what I want to do is I think I want to change actually no I think it'll work if I just add the github to the uh, the origin so what I'm what I want to do now so um, I want to when I do get push I want to push to both github and the uh, original I'll do git remote um, set URL, add, push, origin, and then I'm going to paste in the URL. And now if I do get remote show origin, I should see I've got my GitHub in there now and got my original origin. And then I've also, wait a sec, where am I? I'm also gonna need to add this here. Let's try it. I'm gonna have to do git remote. Um, set URL. Add. Push origin. And now let's see. Okay. Yeah, so now I've got it set up where we're going to fetch the code from the GitHub repo that is in code commit. But then when we push, it's going to push out to both the uh, code commit repo and also the GitHub repo. So now if we do git push, if this works, then the result should be that we push the code out to GitHub and to code commit. Let's take a look. So now if we refresh, there we go. So now we have our skill code here in GitHub and it is also in uh, code commit. So if I'm working here, I can um, do something like, let's make another change. So let's go to Lambda and change rather than welcome. I'll just say, hello. You can say hello or help. Or that doesn't sound right, but we'll go with it anyway. So I'm just making that simple change, and then I'll do the same thing. Add, and then git commit. Do hello. And git push. And this should push the change to both repositories, just like before, but we're going to test that. So yeah, so it pushed to GitHub and it pushed to code commit. Let's just go verify that. Go in here, 
go into Lambda and index, this should say hello, which it does, rather than welcome. So it changed that. And if we go over here to our Alexa hosted skill and check this out, uh, we should see the same thing. Hello, rather than welcome. One other quick point here. So if, if I were to make a change here, let me change this back like this and deploy that change. Uh, I spelled welcome wrong. Oh well. Let's see here and deploy that. Once this is done deploying, I want to show you what happens here. We're going to have to pick up this change. If we go back over here and go git pull, okay, so we've got a change here, but if I go like git push again. I should be able to go back and see that change over here. There you go. All right, so that is it. That's making um, your Alexa hosted code available in both GitHub and the, uh, the default, which is AWS code commit. Hopefully this was helpful. If you had any questions, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I will respond back just as quickly as possible. If it was helpful, please like this video on YouTube and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel, which is youtube.com slash Dabble Lab. Thanks so much.